Hey, how are you guys doing? Pricing. I get a lot of comments even though I, in all three of my projects at this moment in time, I only have a couple sold. I share my stuff all over the place almost every single day and I still only have a couple sold but still people on the various sources why are you trying to push that pricing so number one to explain myself in crypto land and cryptocurrency alone there's multi billions of dollars lost there's people there's in in nfts alone there's multi multi billions lost you get you get collections come out people buy the collections the floor drops out and then it's dead and i've seen that so many times even big projects like board ape and stuff like that are even having some problems with that but you have collections that uh, a lot of people in there with the with the pricing is stagnant and you know even though a lot of board apes you probably could it's only the highest traits or whatever that uh, rarest traits that kind of stuff so everybody else that's why people are basically selling They're selling their to like exchanges and that uh, on loan kind of thing and, and it's just a form of selling and it just artificially drops the floor. You got cryptocurrencies like Mt. Gox, you got Voyager, I think Voyager kind of covered a little bit, you got Luna, you got uh, Kadriga, you know, so many projects. Tornado Cash now basically got banned. You got billions and billions and billions of dollars in crypto land that's lost. Now, I, with my art, a second. So me with my art, all my art, all this war paint, and all the, a lot of the war paint you see here is on the NFTs, is all time priced, and uh, even though. The world doesn't know me too well. I've got a lot of good response with the time priced paintings, basically. Uh, so I decided to do that with my NFTs. So why the date February 22nd, 2022? I was trying to get my collection up on a decentral. I want 10,000 up on a decentralized storage, which I have, I had it basically ready to go. So on February 2nd, 2022, I was gonna upload, this is my original collection. This is 10,000, 10,000 of them. And I started thinking, you know, I could be like every single person out there and just do a collection of 10,000. So I, and I paid actually money to get this collection properly done and everything. I paid like 500 bucks to start. And I was gonna get somebody to upload it professionally kind of thing. And then I started thinking, you know what? I'm not gonna make the 0220, or 0202 2022 deadline for it so I scrapped this whole project but I kept it just in case for and I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't because I found out over time when I started doing these uh, slow there's little fixes uh, I put fixes in that I realized uh, that if I put 10k it would have been stuck uh, little things with the metadata and everything I didn't like in the original one that's fixed uh, by the time I got to anyways so getting off the subject here it's from 
O2, O2 2022, I did make the deadline. I said, okay, I really want all this timing to go from one day. So it'd be O2, which is February, O2 2022. 2022 so all of you who are buying my project in the future will instantly remember that number 02 2022 right so since i didn't have the decentralized storage and everything i figured out in time i decided because i was panicking i decided to upload by hand this very first one which is the very first one uploaded as 02 22 2022 and one thing i noticed with about my paintings with the pricing is no matter what the price the price goes up and you can't mess with it and people come in later oh well, at least i know what your price of the painting is and i just have to look at the description and there's the price of the painting so I started thinking with the NFT world where people come out with collections and then they kind of gain a little bit of steam and then the floor drops out and everybody who bought it high is basically screwed because they'd have to, they'd have to uh, sell. Then you get a lot of collections that don't even sell anything like mine. But I think over time, mine is so unique that I think over time, as time goes on, as I upload a little bit of time, like every single day this week, I upload one to three a day. Uh, the latest was this one. So, and, and this is a perfect example where I fixed the borders and all the borders were fixed. And if I put 10K up, they would have been fixed. Uh, different stuff with them you know I fixed on the fly and I'm glad that it went the slow route I'm at 464 now uh, out of a thousand then uh, next collection is going to be thousand next collection is thousand so and so on to ten thousand ten collections of a thousand each equals ten thousand that's what I decided to do so you're going to see different collections in the future but the the three I'm doing now is my yachts. It's the second collection, which I really like. It's an ape uh, yacht for to pair up with your ape primate. It's that simple. So if you have an ape primate NFT in the world, then you buy a yacht for ape primate. Uh, mostly to go with uh, board ape yacht club guys to, it's kind of like an accessory and then uh my camps are my gold bars my gold bars is this is like a big big slab of gold this is not like a little gold bar this is meant to be like a big slab of gold with these mini gold bars are technically the the size of the actual like gold bars about this big so this is what this is, is like a big slab of gold even though I don't know you can interpret it any way you want oh wow that's really nice one. so and that's the end I had somebody recently come in to just keep it up Jack just keep it up because uh, a lot of people in the world don't know this exists and I think as time goes on I, I think I'm gonna get somewhere so all my projects are all from February 22nd, 2022. And it will be forever from that date. Even ones I put up today. And, and some people just don't get it. And it's pretty simple. What is a bronze one? Let's pick, let's pick a knife. Where's that one really nice one back here? This one right here what's what's this this is bronze so if you own this or anyone with the bronze on it and no matter what you all go back to howlonggold.com it's 186 days ago those are the price of the coppers so if you buy and sell from this date so and I want that firm I want people to understand that 
from this date you buy and sell so anytime in the future anybody that owns a bronze anybody owns a gold anybody owns a silver they know the price and and to do it like that i don't think anybody in the world's done that so it's like a peace of mind thing like you own a bronze it's four thousand four hundred fifty six and as every single day it goes up twenty four dollars because it's twenty, it's twenty four dollars. It's a dollar an hour. It's twenty four dollars, twenty four hours, right? Twenty four dollars, every single day. This is a dollar a day. This is one thousand four forty every single day, and this one is eighty six thousand four hundred seconds in a day. So that's how much the the gold go up. Golds go up now. The gold and silver ones, silver ones maybe somebody might buy one day, gold, gold ones unless you have deep pockets and my project has to totally sell out 100% and it's basically, I have that as a conversation piece like, oh Chuck's uh, gold bar ones are 16 million minutes, one year they're 30, about 32 million, or not minutes, seconds, and one year they're 32 million seconds. Two years, it's about 64 million seconds. Three years, it's just under 100,000. And uh, in three years, that's a conversation piece uh, where uh, NFT is worth that kind of money and it's quite possible. But the whole thing has to sell out and it's gotta be people buying and selling, buying and selling before anybody takes that seriously and somebody says, you know what? Think of it this way. Think of if you have this, Think if you have this NFT that goes up by 02, 22, 2022, and you follow this. Any amount of money you put into the NFT will have a value no matter what. I could almost say that you could use the NFT almost a bank account and because I'm not gonna sell tons of them, okay? There's not going to be 10,000 of each one, like 10,000, 10,000. There's only going to be 1,000 of each one. Uh, and honest to God, it will not be over 1,000 per collection. Or you never know. There might be there might be just three collections, these three collections, and that's it. But the pricing... The pricing... It's pretty simple. And how, okay, let's see, let's see if I've got another background. Oh, there's a couple of backgrounds, just slightly different. This is the one we're looking at and this is the other one. And this is what I'm talking about, guys, and it's just it's such a, I just do not understand I do not understand how sharing on TikTok, sharing in four different uh, Reddit uh, marketplaces, sharing it on YouTube and like three different channels. I do not understand how I cannot have sales by now. And it, it's sad. It's sad. It, it makes me don't want to give up. I can't give up. This is part of my art dream. This is part of me. I even brought out the old headband from the paintings, the old paintball shirts from the paintings, my old, just to show that I'm serious in this video about pricing. The pricing, you never, uh, all the NFTs that people own out there, uh, unless they're Bored Ape or Mutant Ape or Pudgy Penguins or... Those are the only ones that, oh, you'll, you'll probably sell them in the future kind of thing. But 99% of the NFTs out there, they're dead in the water. They're dead in the water. And I think I have... I really think I have a project that I know a lot of people say, oh, Chuck, you pause a lot. Well, I'm trying to think what I say first kind of thing. So I don't. So you instantly look here. Everything gold is the highest possible price. Everything silver is the 
second, which is in the $130,000 range. And then this is the one where majority of people, if they bought my project, you know. And then out of the NFTs, how many people are putting war paint in the face? And, and, you know, maybe some people are turned off by the war paint, but I think it makes it so unique. I think I think you're looking at, uh, a, I'm a real treaty status native in Canada, and you're looking at a native who took pictures of his face for many, many years. And this is just like you're, you're seeing Crazy Horse for the first time, like a hundred years ago on a photo, or Sitting Bull, or so on and so on. But yet, I only have a couple people that bought this project. And one was a friend who uh, did this guy here I, I, I actually sold this to him for like five bucks other guy I don't know I people say oh what you guys should do is you take uh, you take about 50 of them and you transfer to random people so it shows the owners and then no I'm not gonna this channel will not have transfers if you want something from here and if i make a deal with somebody or anything then they're gonna have to pay like five bucks ten bucks or whatever 20 bucks to get an nft of me but i i don't want to show tr transfers on on any of my nfts except uh op or rareball i think i have a couple on there that were transfers uh, but i abandoned rareball and i came to open seek his um OpenSea works a little bit better for me, but who knows, maybe there'll be another project in OpenSea in the future. I have some stuff on OpenSea, which is actually hard to find. You have to go on there, search collections, and then search uh, Timer NFT or Chuck Baller, and it's hard to find on there. Here, here it's a little easier to find. But, we're stuff is governed by traits and stuff for rarities and everything like that my project yeah there is rarities and once there's a thousand up the rarities will just pop up but it ain't gonna be for another i got another 500 uploads basically to go before you see the rarities and since there's one or two a day if these things start selling like crazy one day then people say oh there's another war paint one coming out today oh and then, uh, I'll slow it down to one a day so it takes a couple of years and, and do it slow so people stay with it kind of thing. Uh, and what's cool about mine is anything bronze, you know it's around the cheaper price, copper cheaper price, and then silver and gold is the highest price possible. And if you're lucky to own one of these, and I think some of my gold ones are actually super cheap. Like, uh, let's see. I still have ones that are really low. Like, I got one here for like 15 bucks. Another one here for like 15 bucks. Like, I, I put some purposely. Here's another one. 15 bucks for this gold. What happens if all the golds go in millions? And, and I, I just can't believe people watch all my channels watch all the stuff search me out and then here's a gold one at 16 million minutes which is 16 million dollars and oh, i can't believe anybody wouldn't take a chance and just buy this for 11 dollars and 76 cents i just can't i can't and there's maybe because there's no views on it and uh, nobody knows if you're watching this video chances are you're just somebody that watches me and uh oh, what's chuck up to today and they don't even care about nfts because that's what seems like happen happen seems like what's happening and and here i'm on a saturday at five o'clock and here i am oh let's check this war paint Seems like there's a lot of this one. Oh no, maybe not. It just happened to be all in that area. It just boggles my mind where people are buying the other NFTs. Buying, you know, I look up here and there's so many new projects coming out and there's so much garbage, so much crap. And some of those are, are sold. 
And I just can't believe nobody will take a chance. At this moment in time, I mean, I think that could change someday with the right influencers coming in. I think I think what's going to happen, I'm, I'm quite sure no... Oh, this one. This one. Uh, and there's not too many of this war paint. Yeah, just three. One gold one. 4,000 there, and it'll, it's rare. Rare war paint, guys. Very few. I think maybe it's the only war paint. Wow, Ethereum dropped again. This is the only army type war paint I have with the army type headband. Army shirt, and that's my uh, from Paintball. just kind of makes me wonder you know how hard it is in the nft space if if and there's the i'm a warrior with the kind of native kind of look that's what that was supposed to be add gold two million oh that's pretty good price guys two million almost just under three million dollars for gold which is at the What's the minutes again at that? Uh, seconds? What's the, Oh, where's the seconds again? Where's the seconds? Sixteen million dollars, guys. I just don't get it. How oh, you cannot? Oh, this is rare. The uh, war paint's rare in the, these colors. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. But. Uh, so if you're looking at the which one this one kind of matches up with it very nice or did i do this so wrong am i in not how many minutes are 22 minutes when talking right how am I not unique in the NFT world by now? Where's the influencers? Where's the influencers that probably seen my project and just passed it up? And then if I ever get big, if I ever get big in the future, they'd be kicking themselves oh i seen that guy way back in the day and they could have they could have put me on their channel could have put me on instagram and they could have been the first and then uh say somebody got me famous then all of a sudden they'll get like a gold uh, war paint they'll get a gold uh yacht they'll get a gold all at once kind of thing set aside for them saying this you own these for taking a time only the first one there is no second third or fourth influencer only the first one but what's my favorite war paint this is my ultimate favorite Let's go from receipt from created the last one I probably would see this one because I'm a guy that just loves gold but I just don't want to make it obvious so you know what technically this is my favorite because it's gold but let's pick a war paint that's close to who I am Now war paint that represents me, probably this one here. Probably this one. I picked this one just because it's gold. This war paint just because it's gold and you know I've always been chasing gold for my whole life. Here's another one that's gold but this one's better. But the one that represents me is probably that one up there. Let's just look. Close second. Close third. 
and remember guys this war paint took years you're looking at a war paint done and this one makes it so unique this is war paint that took ever one a saturday this is not like oh i did one one day the second day oh on the same day i did another one the same day no this was i every single one you see here is done in the weekend when i had time I work for a living. I have a full-time job for 23 years. So I work for a sign company. But every single war paint you see here it represents one Saturday or one Sunday. 90% was on a Saturday. That's... Honestly, it'd be this one. That's why it's rare. Why would I pick this one? Because my art is my art on my face is a painting. It's an abstract painting, and I tried to use uh, the kind of colors of this background. And my struggle as an artist. Still struggling. Still struggling. Because people don't take me seriously. If you happen to be watching this for 26 minutes and 33 seconds, remember all the minutes, the one you're watching right now literally went up $26 and $41, $43, or no, that's sec, that's, a, that's gold. Damn it. That, okay. Let's go. Let's go find a gold one now, because that's literally by the second. That's that's what's so great about this. That's what makes me. Oh, that's what makes me. Okay, let's see. Here's the beautiful part of this. As you're watching this, just went up a dollar. Went up a dollar. Went up a dollar, 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 you get it? Went up a dollar, went up a dollar. What piece of art in the world does that besides my, my paintings? As you're watching this right now, 46 seconds. This painting just went up since you've been watching it. This piece of art, this NFT is $27.55, 57, 58, 59, now it's $28 more. What, you understand what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to make history. I want people looking at a piece of art, be it my paintings, which are all dollar a minute, and if billionaires or whoever buys the paintings in the future have the option to, to buy it by the second or sell by the second and that's what these paintings are actually let's take it through this that one's a unique one but look at that beautiful painting guys anybody that buys it has the option has the option to buy this painting it's a dollar a second Right now, this painting and this NFT is going up. $28.55 seconds as we're talking. Dollar a second. Beautiful. Number... Canvas 91, upload 147. Check it out in Joseph Charles home. When the... When Banksy sh painting got shredded live in Sotheby's, or was it Christie's or Sotheby's? I can't remember. That is the week, literally, that painting was done and when that happened. That's when that happened. Uh, let's look at that other war paint. The that uh, 
this one right here this one is a uh, paint that as a native definitely this one or is it this one silver one obviously what's this one worth right now this one is two hundred and sixty seven thousand four hundred and eighteen dollars it's that simple what's so hard about that I think that day will come boys and girls I think that day will come when this will be all over the world timed price NFTs look at that gold triangle beautiful Look at that, my, this is a traditional kind of native kind of war paint that, uh, this is my favorite. And then you see the three stripes here and the silver. Represents past, present, and future. That's represents. And hopefully my future, I hope my future. And then this is the ghost in the machine background. And this frame is the frame off my Twitch stream. I don't have the frame up on my Twitch stream anymore. That lives on here. Background red for power. This says NFT. Very few actually. Actually, let's see this background. How many have this background? Uh, that's a beautiful part of this. Cause you just go like this. Boom! There's the background. Oh yeah. Which one suits? Probably this one. And this war paint uh, is high end. No, no logos for Chuck Waller, except my logo here. Ghost and Machine here. Ghost and Machine. This is rare. Ghost and Machine logo rare. This is actually a very you know, uh, when thousands of when there's a thousand of these done. Let's check out the frame. Uh, well, there's lots of these frames. Okay, that's not a rare frame. I thought it was. Let's see, the background's rare, because I know I put the background rare. The triangle is, uh, so the logo, I believe, is that? No, the logo's not even rare. It's just the background's rare. Okay. Huh. So it's just the background's rare. There's only four of these. And the war paint. Lots of copper. One bronze. Oh, I don't even have prices on these ones. So here, this, this one's going to be... Uh, I have no, my wallet's not connected, so. This is my intense luck. Ultra rare background, boys. Uh, but the border, this border isn't fixed. See this border. That's not the one I'm looking for. It's the background. Let's see if there's a background fixed here. No. These are all old. Oh, no, this is the background. This is the only one. Yeah, this. No? Oh, that's a frame. Frame edge. No, it's this one right here. This is a high-end one, 382, yeah. Here's the border. I should have made this. Maybe I should go back and cut this back a little bit. Yeah, but there's still a border there. This is the new border that I fixed on the sides, but this one wasn't getting big enough. But it's still, still a border.
same color as my shirt. Chuck, I want to buy that right now. Yeah, because it's the same color in this time. Priced. Video. No. no time price video. Oh, guys. So, here's the NFT that even if you bought and it sat around for a year. I do have a time price from a long time ago. No, I don't think so. Uh, say this was four years old. Say you bought this right now. Uh, where's that? Okay, I don't have a time on there. Uh, here's a bronze with the actual time. No, that's still not. So I need a bronze one that's a uh, thousand something or whatever. Which is this one right here. So, so you bought this one right now, a thousand four hundred and eighty-eight dollars, and you said, "Oh, this is a this is a really big investment to buy uh, Joseph Charles Collin piece of art." Now. Say it doesn't sell, maybe it sells for four four years from now. So basically what you do is you go to Joe's, say, you look for something four years ago. And here's one from, you know, here's one Meghan Markle, the day they, they got married. Actually. My name is Joseph Charles Kong, View Modern Art. I have a painting here, canvas. It's a very... This is a so, special size, actually. Oh, that's one. That's 12 by 12. This is it's this one over here. <sighs> is it this one? Yeah, this is the one. See the color. See, the color in the video doesn't do it justice. If you look at the color in the, this video here, this is the... So the color hasn't faded. It's still beautiful. So, going back. Going back. So, you see it, you see it down there. So going back, uh, so four years ago, or four years this was done uh, four years ago. Oh, I got 15,000 subscribers now. Really? Uh, so, this is how long ago, so say your NFT was four years ago, how much would it be? It would be 37,000 and four years from now, your bronze would be $37,457. All the copper ones are 1,005. God, guys. All the copper ones, dollar a day, are $1,561. So any one that you own that's copper and you bought them for like cheap, they each single fucking one could be 10 is like $15,000. All the ones you bought, think about it. And, and people are in the future, four years, just say my, just say my, you know what? Let's go to the first. 
go to the, the, the Floyd Mayweather the day versus McGregor the day he fought and that video is up there so let's see the very first time I think uh, let's go the very so the max oldest I think I have a time on it I think this is the maxed one hey. so this is the maxed as far back as possible on this channel so what would all the so all your caught all your bronze ones are forty eight thousand five hundred twenty one dollars so this is how long ago five years six months almost six years ago so you're looking into the future what nft could you do this right in this moment of time what nft on this planet can you do this besides why you know the price of your nft how much are all the bronze every single one of my channel say it's five years from now and they got six thousand projects up you're not you're six thousand and every single bronze is forty eight thousand five hundred twenty one dollars what's the copper ones two thousand and twenty two dollars and here 2022 this is a good thing because wow i just thought of some 2022 days from now five years what is that five years and six months all your stuff that's 2022 done 02 20 20 22 2022 and 2022 days that would be a thing all the minutes are two million nine hundred eleven thousand chances are one or two of those will probably sell if, if all my whole projects all sell out and what and now here's the controversy all the gold are 174 million six hundred seventy six thousand one hundred and two dollars think of the conversation piece Oh, just I could see it already. Gary Vee could be talking about. It. Oh, just trust calling the oldest ones. All the gold ones are 174 million. Imagine the stories if some sold at 10 million or 22 million. Imagine some billionaire saying, you know what, bought like three or four of them just because now they're all worth 174 million each. What's Think how crazy it is. Think how crazy uh, uh, Beeple's one who went for 70 million. Think about the other one that went for 24 million. Think of the group of uh, 20 or 25 uh, bored apes. All that group together got sold for like 25 million. All JPEGs. Think of it. Think of this, guys. Oh my god. Copper. Forty-eight thousand for every single one of them. Forty-eight thousand five hundred twenty-one twenty-one dollars. Even if you bought like ten, ten at forty-eight thousand. Think about it. Say you bought twenty and bought a hundred-dollar one here, hundred-dollar the one there. You got a million dollars just in this. I just don't understand. Well, people don't understand. They just don't understand. Most viewed. What's the most? Oh, actually, because his, his family Perry watches 23 years. His family Perry watches. Uh, who owns it? You could buy it for seven million right now only one with guitars on it by the way and uh, here's a story in this this is squeal stick basses these are very rare guitars made by one company his his company he owns the company and I made this custom to go on this NFT Very nice.
God, I just hope someday. I hope someday people just wake up to this. How many minutes? 45 minutes? Do I make this an hour? Of a rant? Look at this, all these together. That's weird, and they're all separate. But here they are all together. Ha! It's weird. Kind of blue. To go with the shirt. Oh yeah. You might be thinking to yourself, "Oh, why would I want an NFT with the war painted guy on there?" Well, I'm native. How many treaty status natives do you know? How many treaty status? people in the world puts war paint on their face except in powwows and shows pictures and so not too many because uh, they keep it in their own community such a unique thing compared to all the like cartoony things out there and on here is a treaty status native who created a financial warrior for you to take care of of your financial freedom in the future by just buying this NFT and you know how much it is in $48,000 in five years and six months and who knows maybe people will just say you know what screw that pricing I'm putting mine at a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand who knows maybe you might end up with something that uh, uh, the whole community says okay we're not on the bronze ones we're not going by that time we're going by uh, uh, like a hundred thousand year deal or something like I won't have no control over that I'd like people to buy and sell by the bronze but if every single one sells and there's only a thousand of them and out of these thousand you know people are buying and selling and they're not gonna sell by the bronze price you really think this they're gonna wait five and a half years for forty eight thousand no they're gonna put this a hundred thousand and then people are coming into the space. Think about this. I'm trying to convince whoever's watching this. I don't know who's watching. Could be an influencer in the future. Could be people coming in to buy my project. This is the official timer NFT channel for my projects. And if you happen to be watching this, thank you so much. But uh, who in the world is doing something like this? Nobody. And my pricing and my art and everything is is protected under North American law, under the United Freedoms, like uh, uh, United Nations. All my art, my style of art, everything's all protected under that. And anybody tries to dispute it, anybody tries to stop me and the government or anything, and Canadian government, American government or anything, then they're going to have to fight it in the United Nations because I will take my art and the pricing, time-priced art, to the United Nations and fight it as a treaty status native. And I think every North American native on this continent will come on my side. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for spending time and watching us. It's such a unique thing, and I just, I just don't understand how I have three projects and people are buying all all those other projects, uh, uh, stuff that people just just because some influencer and uh, and that's what I'm kind of hoping myself. Just because some big influencer buys stuff, just says, "Oh, I'm buying." I'm buying this type of ape, or this type of primate, or this pudgy guy, or this, or this is just like cool girls, or something like that, you know? Or bad girls, I just watched the Bad Girl Project. And I just don't understand how I've shared my stuff every single day on Reddit, and TikTok, and YouTube, and everything. And not every day on YouTube, but on TikTok, I share it all the time. And not uh, one person's took a chance on me. If you and a whole bunch of people in the future took a chance on me, two thumbs.
Thank you. <sighs> but here we are. Now this video I'll put more up. There's a nice green back. Let's look at the green background. Beautiful. Oh, there's one that kind of fits it. I do remember this war paint. Here's where my glasses, because I film myself playing video games, and that's where my glasses. So this was taken after my video, or I had the glasses on to picture. I can't remember. But, oh, so beautiful. Let's see more of this war paint. Oh yeah, it's the only one that kind of works. The only, you know, that's another really expensive one. This one you could buy for fifty-three thousand dollars, man. That's cheap, guys. Oh, Chuck, I just bought it for fifty-three thousand. If you happen to be, you know, the funny thing is, if you happen to be owning this one, it is quite possible. You could be watching this. If if in the future, say five, six, ten years, uh, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, somebody bought this and you own this one, thank you so much for purchasing this one. You probably, if you own this one, you probably paid a lot of money and I really thank you for that. And this is just for people in the future that buy my, buy my art and pay the good money for it. Number one is I don't smoke, I don't drink at this moment in time. Who knows in the future? But I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. I'm a working man, worked 23 years in the same job, all very fireable. Very, you know what I mean. All this war paint in the background. Every day, or I mean every Saturday, every weekend I've done this. Uh, and you could tell by just going to Chuck Baller YouTube and all these Every week there's a video with the war paint because I did the war paint to film myself in video Thank God it did because this NFT with the war paint wouldn't exist because of it And the story And that's where that's why Chuck Baller's on here so you can go and see the war paint you can actually go and search old videos and find this war paint and me playing in this war paint so and this matches up actually this blue uh, do I go and try to look for this war paint on Joseph Charles Collin you know what maybe that's something for you guys to do but here is a piece of art and you probably spent a lot of money on it if you happen to be watching this thank you so much if you did and and your money isn't going into waste it's going into uh you know what i want a nice house i want a lake lot i want I want to live in manhattan on in a skyscraper i want a yacht off the coast I want a yacht in a marina in Hawaii. So, why not? Why not be honest? At least your money is going to some. Maybe you have that lifestyle right now. If you could buy, if you bought this, you have that lifestyle. And you're contributing to an NFT that will give that lifestyle to me. And right in this moment in time, 54 minutes, we're going to stop this right at 60, 60 minutes and zero seconds. You know what? 60 minutes and two seconds or something like that. We'll see when we get there. Another six months. So if you happen to have bought this, thank you so much.
or maybe six years from now none of them are sold maybe it's a hard sell but I highly doubt it I think I'll be watching this six years from now very successful all sold but I don't know I don't, no crystal ball all I know is I spent an hour explaining to you the pricing and with my art it doesn't matter about the metrics of the buy and sell of the of people are coming say all oh, the low price oh the floor is like a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars yeah because they're all controlled by what the copper prices are and the height of it is the gold ones where you know it just takes one guy to come in 12 million dollars imagine if somebody bought one for 12 million dollars how much that would change my life right now right now i'm not a rich man i work for a living i work every single day at a, at a job i hate it, i i like my job but who wants to work the rest of your life and how many people who know to how many people know how to put traits up and everything uh, how many people took the chance and got a metamask account or any type of crypto account and oh i got ethereum how many people did that how many people right now actually have one or two or a hundred or ten thousand nfts for sale on OpenSea? how many people did that probably a lot of people stop just oh, I don't want the cryptocurrency or I don't know how to do it but here I am talking this video at 57 minutes telling you right now I took the time I have unique NFTs that exist and they're here whether you bought them or not is I don't know the reasons why you would not buy it well, you have all the great reasons to buy it because you can wake up tomorrow and you know what your NFT cost or how much it is, how much it's worth. And people say, oh, well, how can you say it's worth what it is? Because nobody in the history of NFT or art has decided to price their art and their nfts buy time by a little badge that says time price crypto price rises way by one dollar a minute it's right there it's right there in the corner how many people are doing that right now none oh chuck you're getting a little serious you know what i can sleep good knowing i come up with a project for you guys that the two people that own it and the one person who bought it and I wish I could transfer a whole bunch of golds to them right now but see what happens in the future maybe I'll just talk to this one guy here who owns a Joseph Charles Collin This guy right here, who's JV Solov, Solov, 14 views, two minutes, he's got 100 uh, for 100 now, way undersold, 190, and you know what, chances are this guy's going to sell this. I wish they could transfer a whole bunch of goals, but I have a policy that I do not transfer stuff because I don't want mine to have a false because I could have did this all the time all this time and my project would so show a whole like 100 owners just to sucker people in and if you're watching this video this isn't uh, this is not a sucker thing okay this is people own it because people own it one owner is me two owners one is the guy that did the guy that did all my music and he's the guy that actually designed this their he designed these badges for me. He designed the badge for me. That's the only reason he's the only one I allowed to. I have best friend. I'm 59. I, you know what? And I said, 
Okay, 60, 60 minutes, one hour and 22 seconds, and then we're shutting her down. Time, pray, start. Time is our friend. Time is our ally. All timer stuff is over there. All NFTs that are not timer are over there. That's it.